Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I have a story to tell you that's ongoing today and uh, it's just something to look out for because we can all stand in love and light and joy at this moment using my timeline technology and so and using the languages of, of light and sound that are offered by the other uh, light workers on earth right now. So at any time we can experience a fifth dimension. However, there is quite a drama going on in the fourth and third dimensions even now into which we can dip and do what, do what we can to help people from time to time. Now, setting that aside, all right, um, we may have here on earth right now many people ascending into the fourth dimension, but not yet in the fifth dimension. That is a job for light workers to help those who find themselves in the lower fourth dimension to rise to the higher and positive fourth dimension so that they can be uh, ready to enter the fifth dimension, Christ consciousness. So, so back to the story that's ongoing even now because I want people to be aware of it and to be able to, to step away from it. Uh, in 20, in the year 2000 or 2001, when all the X flares were happening at a solar maximum, I activated along with a, another man and woman, and we brought immense light to, to Earth. Almost immediately, within the matter of a month or so, two Anunnaki appeared physically. They had inhabited the bodies of two, uh, of a man and a woman of a regal stature, naturally, and their powers of psi powers were inten intensely beyond the range of anyone that I'd ever met. Um, they, they caused a, um, some trouble right away, and that trouble is typical of what they do. They took over the physical forms of the, of the other man and woman, and, and they used those forms to propagate um, misogyny and patriarchal domination in the group to which they belonged. So that I had to abstract myself and turn to Advaita and love of God only. Uh, this, this broke the energy of the heart that was taking place at that time and turned it to hatred, a large energy of hatred which now is leaving, that influence is leaving Earth for me. However, these two walked into people, uh, are still disguised as respected members of the group, the spiritual group to which they belong. The Anunnaki could walk out at any time to elsewhere to do other work, but they find it useful to stay in those forms so that they can create the di dissension amongst the light workers. And so that they can, um, so that they can, they can drag their souls. Their intention being to drag, degrade their astral matter and drag their souls down to hell. I will tell you a little more about the way that they work, so that you can just avoid their physical presence. They will cause a woman to turn away from her husband, or cause. A husband to turn away from his wife by wooing the one or the other. Once wooed, they themselves will not have intercourse with that with that spouse. Rather, they will, through mind control, force that spouse to have intercourse with a prostitute, a sex worker, or a drug addict. The intention being to degrade their astral matter. If the other spouse continues to have um, psychic bonds with the person that they still love, then they also will be dragged down and the energy of light and love and joy on earth will be decreased. Therefore, it's essential for the light worker who is targeted to, to stand as one with God to make their electromagnetic field the same as that of Earth and to avoid all psychic bonds. 
Another thing that they will do if they're successful in, in beginning the slow degradation of the light worker soul is they will create a trap, a physical trap, uh, through some hidden fear that the light worker has to keep them in one geographic location. And the reason for this is that they work with others of the dark, the negative alien agenda, to, in, in, uh, to geographically uh, take control of souls. This geographic latitudinal division of uh, the souls on earth uh, no longer really applies. <clears throat> latitudinal uh, territorial um, rulership is part of the astral world, the fourth dimension, and Earth has risen to the fifth dimension. So you need not stay where you are, where you, are you see. You need not be there because forces can be brought into play to balance the, the energy of the heart uh, if a person cannot be physically mobile. We can all be anywhere, any when, you know. This is totally untrue. So whatever snags exist, whether it be that of health or of, of wealth and abundance or whatever it is that you've been tagged with that limits you as a light worker, just see to that in the physical realm and then do as you will, all right? Continue your work of bringing light and love to earth. Uh, that's really uh, all I have to say about the Anunnaki right now, who are still attempting to turn people polarized to the dark, uh, those who are still in the astral realm, and those whom we shepherd to the light. So steer clear of them physically. Know, know their methods, all right, and, and recognize them for who they are. Know that all is not as it seems to be, all right. Assess the heart energy of every being. A form can change in a moment from that of a man to that of a non-human being. All right. You must know the soul signatures of those with whom you deal. Know this. Align with God. God conquers all. God is all. And God is all that we need. At present, Earth is what you might call a 4D, 5D planet. Um, I was reading in the Law of One last night uh, the history of Venus, which is, is very interesting um, because they preceded us along these lines. Uh, right now, as I recall, Venus is in the sixth dimension, but it's, it's called 5D, 6D, fifth and sixth dimension, because there are those of Venus, those of Ra, our Hathor friends that, that guide us here on Earth, who uh, moved from the sixth dimension of their own planet into the fifth dimension so as to be of service. They wanted to be of service to other beings. So, so because of that, the social memory complex that is that of the beings of Venus is both fifth and sixth dimensional right now. Uh, in the same way, right now, here on Earth, we have fourth and fifth dimensional Earth. We have Earth herself, who is in the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is available to all of us if we concentrate only on love and light. But the experience of the fourth dimension is available to many right now. So those of us of the fifth dimension are are also in service to those those of the fourth dimension right now to help them achieve the full potential that earth has reached this is as i see it right now i was reading in the law of my, one last night that that 20 years 30 years prior to the shift that the thought was different the thought was that earth would be fourth dimensional uh, Things didn't turn out exactly as was predicted, you know. There was a big difference, a big change. And, and that is all I can say about that right now, is that there is an experience of the fourth dimension on Earth. 
but the true potential of Earth is fifth dimensional. Were this not so, then my timeline technology, which is of the fifth dimension, would not work here on Earth. In the same way, the, the sound technology of Tom Kenyon and the language of light of Judy Satori would not work on, on Earth, but they do work because Earth is in the fifth dimension. There's such a diversity here on Earth, you know, such an incredible diversity. I mean, look at the Martians, the Martians that are here on Earth right now. They are so warlike, you know. How is, how is that going to happen for them? What is going to happen? It may take some time, right? So, so we have to think about all the beings here on Earth and elsewhere and do our best to uplift everything, the all, right? <laughs> so... So there's a lot more to be discovered, is there not? But, but my final word on this is watch out for the Anunnaki. Read up on them. You can check in the ascensionglossary.com. Ascensionglossary.com and find out about the, all of the different beings that are not of love and light who are hanging out on earth. But while you're reading it, don't forget, stick with love and light and joy. Those are far more powerful than all that crazy stuff. All right, you guys, take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.